This is a quick demonstration of the new NFS-based performance reporting integration in EMC Virtual Storage Integrator version 5.2. Uh, we've extended the performance reporting to now include NFS support. So here we've got a data store which is overloaded, that's the little warning signal, uh, that's running on an EMC VNX array. Uh, what we've got within the VSI tab is we've taken something which normally exists in multiple different places and made it simple and easy to get in a single view which is to see the contextual relationship between the NFS export, this is the array world view, uh, that says uh, this particular uh, NFS export is seeing this type of total number of IOPS, uh, along with the uh, uh, latency for that individual data store, but also correlating it with the ESX host view of the data. So these uh, listings here are all the data store level reports for that same thing. So in a single view, you can quickly relate what's the level of uh, performance that uh, the array is seeing and the individual uh, host is seeing. So here you can see very, very low latencies and you can see that uh, you know, this data store is uh, um, creating a slightly higher load uh, for writes which is creating a slightly higher latency uh, than you would see normally. Now in this example, we've got two virtual machines. If we click on the virtual machine and open up the VSI plugin, uh, you can see the individual VMDKs that are sitting on that data store. And then when we go and we click on the performance tabs and say start monitoring, this will start to integrate uh, the vSCSI stats for that individual uh, device. Now again, this is all leveraging common APIs, both at the array level and at the uh, uh, ESX top level and the vSCSI stats level. But this plugin makes it simple and easy to kind of get in a single end-to-end -end view and that view is contextual based on the object that you've selected within vCenter. So here uh, the data is going to start to populate. You can see uh, the various uh, uh, statistics both at the array level and uh, the individual uh, uh, vSCSI devices. So you can see here that this, this one here is not the one that's driving the load because the individual SCSI uh, stats are relatively low. Um, but we could go and we could take a, a look at other ones and see exactly which one of these offenders is the one that's causing the load on the data store. So um, again, this is a capability that we've added in VSI version uh, 5.2. Uh, uh, we've extended the capability that appeared in 5.1 where you can do this on VMFS-based data stores if you're a customer that's lucky enough to be using vSphere and uh, an EMC storage array. This works with uh, both VMAX and VNX arrays and we'll be adding this capability to Isilon arrays in the future. So here we're going to take a look at that other VM and take a look at the, its individual VMDKs. And uh, you can see that it is generating a large number of IOPS um, against that data store. Now for a VNX array, this is not, of course, a large number at all. Uh, even the small VNX platforms can support uh, uh, many, many tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of IOPS. But based on how we've configured the, the system for this particular test, this individual VM is creating a pretty heavy load on that data store. So again, simple and easy tool that allows you to rapidly uh, 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 find the integrated view of vSCSI stats, ESX top data, and array world views that is provided free for any EMC customer and can be downloaded and installed uh, yourself. Uh, obviously, we offer much richer capabilities and things like EMC ProSphere and other more advanced management tools, but this is a pretty cool capability that we've provided uh, natively inside the EMC Virtual Storage Integrator plugin. Hey, you can even uh, export it out in a variety of ways, which is cool too. Thanks very much, and thanks for being EMC and VMware customers.